Hello, let's uh, learn how to use the washing machine in simple terms. On button. Easy. When you turn it on, cottons will naturally come on. Now, the cycle um, length is here, temperature's here, that's the spin speed. Pretty obvious. Stop and start button. If you have delicates or woolens, or you just want to do a spin, or anything else, Express 20 is a good one to know. All of these are on the dial, so you just turn the dial to what you want. If you want the Express 20, it goes for 20 minutes. You can change the temperature by just pressing that and it will go down. Or you can go cold if you want, and it goes all the way around to the options it's got. Spin speed's the same when it comes back up. It's on the highest spin speed, but you can turn that down. So if you've only got some undies and socks and a few bits and pieces, you might want to just lower it down uh, to say either 12 or 1000 RPM. Uh, and then um, you press start and stop. Oh, sorry, you press start. Okay, now a couple of other bits and pieces you need to know. Up here is where you load the powder or liquid, just in here. There's liquids in that cupboard, you'll find things that you need. Um, once again, if you put something onto cottons, for example, it's 144. If you don't have an hour and 45 minutes, please press the short button, that one. So on most of these things, you can shorten them. Um, cottons is the main one though. Uh, it won't shorten the express, <laughs> funnily enough. Um, and when you've got it on short, it reduces it quite a bit, but you can also change, you can still change the temperature, still change the spin speed, or just leave it up to you. Um, okay, the other thing that we need to know is that the door, once you've loaded things, it's quite firm to shut the door. So you've got to give it a really good um, push. It won't do anything. See, it's only flashing now that I've shut the door. So it won't, nothing is going to happen unless that door's shut properly. To open the door at the end of the cycle, this is the door button here, so it won't just open. You have to press it, and sometimes it can be a little bit fiddly, but it's reasonably straightforward. Uh, when you're finished with the machine, please remember to turn it off so that display will go off and leave the door ajar so that it can um, dry properly. And that's pretty much it. Thanks.